I'm of course Red Cat, and as you know, seven nights a week I stream live over on Twitch playing a variety of video games. The link to my Twitch channel can be found in the description below. This is quite an odd week here in the United States of America. Primarily, uh, this is the week of the 2020 general election. And despite the wills and demands of a petulant child, who is a, a man over the age of 70, let me uh, begin this week's commentaries by saying every vote counts. Regardless of who you voted for, every vote counts. All right? They counted in every vote counted in 2016, every vote counted in uh, 2012, uh, 2008, 2004, 2000, 1996, 1992, 1988, 1984, 1980, etc., 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 etc. Every vote counts. So, if you're someone who has been out there in Pennsylvania, Georgia, Nevada, North Carolina, Michigan, uh, the, uh, a saying is like, "Stop the count." Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck your family, fuck your pets, and so forth, all right? Every vote counts. And by the way, if the votes were indeed stopped counting at the time of this recording, uh, November 5th, uh, uh, 2020, uh, Joe Biden wins if, if, if the votes were indeed stopped counting. If, all right? So keep that in mind, you fucking ingrates, all right? So, with that political commentary aside, this week on Wednesday night, uh, well, I finally, finally got around to playing Full Throttle. This is a point-and-click action uh, adventure game with a, with a surprisingly amount of action that was originally released by LucasArts way, way back in 1995. Now, most people know that I have a special place in my heart as it pertains to the games that were done by LucasArts, as Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis is one of my all-time favorite games, as is Sam and Max at the Road, Day of the Tentacle, uh, Day of the Tentacle, uh, The Dig, which uh, and the Monkey Island series, so the latter uh, two, I only re only got around to playing just a couple years ago, uh, and I streamed them all on Twitch. So it's uh. Uh, so getting around to playing Full Throttle finally after all this time was a joy and, and, and a treat. Uh, the general plot is the last domestic motorcycle manufacturer in the country is Corley Motors, whose founder and CEO is on his way to an important shareholders meeting with his uh, vice uh, with his vice president, the uh, main antagonist of the game, uh, Rip Burger. They stop off at a bar on the way to their this important stockholder meeting to try and recruit some bikers. And Ripberger uses it as an opportunity to enact an evil scheme of taking out the leader of Corley Motors and so that he can take over the company and that they can get stop making uh, motorcycles and motorcycle parts and instead make minivans. Yeah. Uh, the... <laughs> The player, in and of themselves, plays Ben, the leader of, of a motorcycle gang called the Polecats. Uh, ben is presented to, uh, with an opportunity to escort the, the leader of Corley Motors to their to his destination, but it's all a ruse as Ben is attacked, dumped in a dumpster, and his gang framed for the murder of the leader of Corley Motors, and it becomes a race against time to... Get revenge, save your gang, and save and prevent another auto manufacturer from making minivans. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm stressing the minivan portion of part of this because back in the 1990s, minivans definitely became more of a thing, <laughs> uh, or people carriers, or whatever it is you want to call them. But they really became. Uh, a lot more frequently seen around the United States, and particularly in the mid uh, mid nineties. Uh, my dad had one after having a traditional, like a, a, a traditional van. So I got the minivan instead. So it's like okay, it is what it is. There, 
But in terms of this game, the plot in and of itself may be a bit paper thin and a bit satirical, but it is... It does set the tone quite nicely. Um, this game is absolutely gorgeous. Now, granted, we're playing. I played the remastered version that came out a few years ago, but it's absolutely it's, it's a beautiful, it's it's a gorgeous looking game. All the sprite work and backgrounds definitely look good. As a matter of fact, this remaster was done by the same people who did handled the remaster for Day of the Tentacle. So it looks good. It sounds great. Matter of fact, the music in this game is one of the sh its strongest points. Um, it's like with some hard rock. Uh, there's a little country in there, but you got some hard rock. You know, th music that you would associate th it with uh, if you were riding a motorcycle going down a highway and so forth. Just want the wind whipping through your hair and so forth. Uh, so once. I heard the music uh, playing it in the opening and hearing that opening theme was like, oh, I like this. I like this. As a matter of fact, I want to track down the soundtrack <laughs> because that's how that's how good the music actually is in this game. Uh, Gameplay-wise, it this is another LucasArts game or originally a LucasArts game that uses the Scum engine, same engine that was used in things like uh, Maniac Mansion, uh, Indiana Jones, Fate of Atlantis, uh, Last Crusade, Sam and Max Hit the Road, D The Dig, and and the Monkey Island series. Uh, so, same traditional point and click elements. There is a surprisingly amount of action via the uh, motorcycle mechanics, which leads to uh, you actually having to do combat, knocking people off of their motorcycles. As a matter of fact, it's a major plot point. It, 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 as a matter of fact, the entire a good portion of the middle portion of this game is dedicated to it. Uh, the puzzles are um, pretty straightforward for the most part. Some are a little bit more cryptic and need a little bit better timing. Uh, the infamous uh, mechanical bunnies, uh, sending mechanical bunnies into a minefield puzzle was probably the one, was the only one I really needed to think hard about to figure out the timing of it, but other than that it was pretty it was pretty uh straightforward there uh, then you have the the rather infamous uh kick a spot on the wall pop, uh puzzle where you could spend an entire time kicking uh along a wall to, uh, to find the trigger for a secret entrance matter of fact if it wasn't for the fact that i've seen that puzzle on an outside extra video a few years ago I would not have known how to uh, resolve that because it was a little... The clues were pretty cryptic, but pretty much everything else is really straightforward and it's totally logic-based. Um, there's not many puzzles that require items or really combining items. Um, so, in, in terms of dialogue... Our lead protagonist is basically alone for a good portion of things. He so there's really not much in the way of clever writing but when there is some character interaction when you are chatting with someone there are that traditional 90s LucasArts uh, uh, charm does shine through um, another big strength of this game is of course its voice uh, it's, uh, it's a cast of voices uh, Mark Hamill uh, Maurice LaMarche, uh, Keith, uh, Cass Thorsey, Pat Music, among others, lend their voices, uh, some of them to multiple characters throughout the game. So, a good, solid, A-list cast uh, of, um, of actors, you know, and I would say it's specifically voice actors, bringing the characters in this game to life. Now, the, version, the remastered version I played was through Steam, so that means there were Steam achievements. There are 40 achievements, and on a, my initial playthrough, I got 31 of them. Uh, anything else, all the, from what from what I understand, all of the remaining, uh, one of the remaining achievements is the one you get for unlocking all the achievements, but there's stuff that... You have to think like uh, what will be Easter eggs or little side things that are not really important to the plot or to a puzzle to complete. 
Uh, in terms of recommending this game, I of course am highly going to recommend it. It's a it's a good it's a good game. It's it's a short game, about three maybe four hours, depending on uh, on um, how you figure on certain puzzles. A lot of things that, as I said, for me were fairly obvious, but for others it may not be as obvious in terms of the solutions. Uh, so with that said, uh, let me uh, we'll wrap this up here as people are outside riding their ATVs. I and and remind you all that again, every vote counts. If you disagree with that, fuck you. And with that and and with that, I hope you all of you have yourself a great day, great weekend. Tighten your friendship bracelet. Stay safe, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye.